Welcome to another Thoughts on Tech video. Today we start a series about the Rilo, a 360-degree camera that one can assume has simplicity in mind. Starting on the outside you find only two buttons and one small monochromatic display. The button on the top let you turn the camera on and off and start and stop recording. The one on the front let you swap between photo and video mode. On the screen you see only the strictly necessary information. Because on the inside the camera has no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth components you just simply connect it to your phone or tablet via a USB cable and get instant connection with the app. No need for, sometimes complicated, wireless connection processes. On the first time you connect with the app you get a small tour around the most important features you can use while editing the videos you recorded on the Rilo. When it gets to camera settings you are able to choose the video quality and turn the sound signals as well as the vibration from the Rilo on and off. Available battery charge, memory card space and camera informations are also displayed here. Because the camera is wired to your device you can see here how fast a video is transferred. Now you may open your video and start editing. As it was explained on the screen you tap to get the video rolling and can swipe left or right to look around. The radar symbol on the bottom left shows in which direction you are currently looking. The symbol that kinda looks like a smiley activates the picture-on-picture -picture mode. Here you can show what was on the front and on the back of the camera at the same time on your final video. By tapping on the squared symbol you enter the edition menu. Here is where you have a lot of options available. You can trim your video and have the option to increase the playback speed up to 16 times. Inside the tune menu you got the chance to change the light, contrast, highlights, shadows, vibrance and tone of your footage. This is the only point where I almost see too many options, given that in all other things simplicity was the key until now. But one can just leave it as it is and don't get overwhelmed. The level menu lets you adjust the horizon line. The camera levels automatically but if you think your horizon is not leveled correctly you can adjust it here. The crop menu lets you crop your image, you can pinch to zoom or choose the predefined portrait, square, native, wide or cinema settings. If you press the icon with the arrow on the upper right corner you are able to export your edited video. You can do it in HD or 360 degree format and with or without sound. And that is pretty much it. As you see you don't need a powerful computer to see and edit your 360 degree video. You can do it on the go and in a simple way on your phone or tablet with the Rilo.